It's the young and the restless. We're going to meet some couples who say their unions are more secure and more honest because they don't believe in monogamy. They swear that the secret to staying together is not having secrets at all. Oh, I have been dying to wear this skirt. I bought it a little while ago and I've just been wanting to wear it. These sexy guests are all dressing to impress for a top secret invitation only party. They're all in committed relationships, but tonight they're hoping to hook up with the other party goers. They're swingers who find passion with strangers. We're excited. Yes, we're finally, we're finally here. Our story begins two years ago with these two curious couples, Janelle and Stevens. And there's stuff that people do that we want to try. Say, did you see that? Do you think we can yeah, try Yeah, sometimes that? we take those, so. <laughs> And Michael and Sarah. How did this all start for you? We made a bet for the Super Bowl, and if the Patriots won, I got a threesome with another guy, and if the Giants won, I got a threesome with another girl, obviously. And needless to say, <laughs> the Giants won. Just call me old-fashioned, but isn't there something odd about seeing your mate with somebody else? Mating? I mean, we're not really the jealous type. Like, we believe that sharing is caring. Welcome to behind closed doors. Attending a posh swingers party like this is a first for both our couples. And here, the partygoers are strictly VIP. They've been carefully selected by event hosts behind closed doors based on attractiveness and age. The younger, the better. New Jersey couple Michael and Sarah have been together for years. We met online, yeah. which was, I think, new for both of us. Half the way through our relationship, this is when we really started exploring this. And it, it's great. There's no turning back from here. Yeah. We love it. We love what we do. We love our weekends together. They do full swaps, which means going all the way. But some things they keep for themselves. Their first rule is no kissing, because kissing is very intimate to us. Yeah, we finish with each other, I guess, would be the nicest way to say it. Janelle, a property manager, and Stevens, a DJ, say they lead sort of a double life. A private life should be private. I'm, I mean, doing something like this, I'm not going to go to work and say, guess what I did this weekend? But there's no shame. They're into soft swapping, which means everything but full intercourse. It's like, like guys with their favorite cars. <laughs> you let someone else drive it. You're like, yeah, you can drive the car, you feel how smooth the ride is, but that's my car. <laughs> that's a good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Both couples are part of a dramatic shift in attitudes about what it means to be in a committed relationship. One recent study shows 41% of couples are open to the idea of having multiple sex partners. And apps like Tinder and OkCupid make finding exactly what you're looking for, whether you're single or a couple, easier than ever. This is Swing School, and Swing School is how we welcome beginners into the lifestyle. Before the party starts, rules are laid out. Single women or couples are allowed, but no men flying solo. The price of admission, 200 bucks. It's all perfectly legal. Everyone is a consenting adult, and everyone, they say, practices safe sex. And these seasoned swingers share some advice with our couples. Jealousy is not an issue, because if there is jealousy, the lifestyle is not for you. You are jealous, then you have that fear that you're going to lose someone. Yeah. And I think, individually, we're the best we're going to get. <laughs> As night falls, the room gets darker, the mood sexier. Mike and Sarah have now scoped out the room. There's an Asian woman here Sarah was looking at, and that uh, I kind of agreed to also. They got the girls together finally, and uh, we're going to take this to the next step, I believe. They start to get frisky, kissing each other, hoping to get things started. It quickly gets a little too sexy for our cameras, so we retreat to our own private interview suite, where couples swing by to let us know what's going on up there. But you hooked up meaning what? What happened? Sarah and I uh, commandeered one of the couches, and then uh, somebody else came over and joined in. So she started kissing you, you kissed her back, then what happened? The magic happened. You had sex with the other woman, and you had sex with the other man? Yes. A lot of older people, like their families are very traditional. You sleep with one person forever. But I mean, in today's day and age, things are not the way they used to be. For Janelle and Stevens, the party wasn't exactly what they were hoping for, but the night is still young. And what happens between the two of you when you get home? Oh, it's on. <laughs> 
that's all I can say. Michael and Sarah are more willing to kiss and tell. I really get turned on watching Michael please somebody else because I know how well he pleases me. And I know at the end of the day, like he says, I'm going home with him. There's nothing better than us. Like we please each other so well. And today, that's still true. Both couples are still together and say swinging makes their relationship even stronger.